which is about to cut out soft masking. So this has all been cut out with a scalpel blade, really, really sharp, which is the key thing, and something you can work with so you can control. And I was using things like French curves and my railway curves just to cut things out. You have to be very careful you don't cut them as well. Now I'm into the soft masking, which is going to be using with acetate, and I use just an OHP pen. And the paints that I'm actually using are just gold and acrylic. And what I also have got here is just a typewriter type rubber where you can actually clean off your artwork at the end. So quite a few paints there. And the other thing which I'm just using here, a Airgraph Devilbus. And see how small this airbrush is. It's a double action one. So that's going to do the bulk of the work. And then we're going to just um, show you the next stage after I draw up the acetate. And here's an example of just working and drawing up with the OHP pen here. And what we've got is just, as you see, there are the lines just ready to be cut out. And just cut these out with a scalpel as well. And this is called soft masking. We can actually move things off the page a bit. So that's the next stage. And as you see down here, here's my good old scalpel, which is number three handle in this case number 10 blade and what I've done is I've cut all of this out so this is loose masking as compared to the sticky tight masking and what I'm doing now is just for the handle piece of the graphic here if I move that out of the way and there it is but I've just drawn it up so if I just mark that down here with my good old OHP marker there you go so good to go to the next stage and then you can start painting when you're actually going to take the mask off, this, this is the hard masking, just get your scalpel underneath and um, once you can just grab it, then just pull it away. Now, as it comes off here, it's just revealing just the sections that I want to spray for this first one. Now, I'm gonna reuse this mask as I'm taking it away. So just take it out carefully, making sure that it's not damaged and that's the secret. Take it off carefully in each section. And what I've got here is just tracing paper, good quality tracing paper. And when you take it off, just plonk it down on this. This is, keeps the tact uh, nice and in place for when you want to put it back into that space where you've just taken it out. You can see this whiter area, and that's where it's going to be sprayed. Now what I've got here is just a couple of the paints got a lot more to choose from and another whole drawer here as I work through and then my water and a good brush so what I've got here is just two different airbrushes so this one's got a cap on it and it's actually the airbrush E which is just a little bit bolder in terms of its needle and this one here doesn't have a uh, a cup on it but it's also um, slightly finer and when these are tested this is an air graft of Elvis you see how fine the line goes that's when they were originally tested many years ago and then the air graft E just so you've got sort of more paint in this one and less paint here now I've got this on basically a lead basically to air pump it and down here there's the air compressor it's got a holding tank and you'll see right through there, there is just a little bit of a moisture trap. So what I'm going to do is just top up this. You only need a tiny little bit of paint and then I can't start painting those areas that I put off. Using that masking, and actually it's a back and forth process. And so from all the masking that's cut out, going from the original pencil through to the final illustration and that is illustration one torture treats popsicle